Heroes wear hairnets become ungovernable. EBT chicken. You can buy 16 PC raw chicken with EBT if you want. We will cook it for free. It will take 15 to 20 minutes. Last order, 5 p.m. So I love that shit. That's fucking great. Solidarity. For those who don't understand, EBT are food stamps, government money for buying food for low-income people. Because the money is from the government, it comes with horrific restrictions, one of which is you cannot buy prepared food with it. You can only buy raw chicken, not cooked chicken, for example. This which, by the way, is, like, really fucking stupid. It is just another example of, like, the of blatant means testing um, done not for, like, anybody's actual benefit or, like, it doesn't actually save money. It's just, you know, after fucking Bill Clinton decided, hey, I, uh... If you can't beat them, join them. And we've, and, you know, just perpetuated it even, even with, like, marginally lefter than the than republican still ultimately like all of that means testing bullshit is you know, the reason why people why uh you know the economy is so much worse uh you know because democrats are supposed to offer a different economic vision and it is different from what republicans want which is basically borderline fucking you know let corporations do whatever they want but I don't know, that that's to me, it's very, very much a case of what you gotta do. This kitchen is getting around that stupid rule by selling you raw, unprepared chicken and then charging your EBT account for raw, unprepared chicken. Then as a side thing, totally unrelated, they cook the chicken for free. Since you bought raw chicken with the EBT, it's legal. There's no law against cooking people's raw chicken for free for them. That's just charity. This. Yep. And, and again, not all heroes. Or keep some of them wear hairnets. Kitchen is a blessing to anyone who doesn't have a kitchen of their own. It's not a ridiculous restriction. There is zero reason you should be using tax money on fried chicken. It's raw, so you have to decide what to do with it. But if you could just use tax money on fried chicken, many people would. Still, here's the thing I want to say. For, here's the thing I want to say for the record. The amount of money that the government, first of all, the amount of money as somebody who has been on government benefits. The amount of money you actually get is dog shit. Second, if you are dependent on, you know, two, three hundred bucks a month from the government for groceries, do you do you do you understand that that means that you? If you spend money on, like, petulant bullshit, you don't eat. Like, there is still a modicum of responsibility here. There's no point in... Here's the thing. If somebody's going to be stupid and spend oodles of noodles on, you know, expensive cuts of meat and shit like that, let them. They're, 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 they're fucking mud, their fucking food budget's going to go away immediately, but let them. If they want to spend that money on it, you know, let that money be flexible. Like UBI experiments all over this country have been proven to work time and time again. And, pe and, and every single time they are done, people are in a better position after than they were before. So if the government's going to give me $293 a month and some change for groceries or just for me to live, let me use it on fucking rent. Let me use it on a phone bill. Let me use it on my food. Like, let me use it on whatever. And if somebody's going to be stupid enough to, like, buy, you know, filet mignon and, you know, you know, fucking shoes or, or some shoes, let, let them. You don't, you don't eat, like, you, you got on this because you needed it. You don't eat now. Get fucked. You know what I mean? Like, that, like, that's kind of, like, to me, the consequence like you're only hurting yourself if you're if you're doing that. Like the only people that don't like that think that are like iffy on like poor people who on stamps buying fried chicken are like snooty hoity toity suburbanites who believe that like you know you should suffer if you're getting government help, which is stupid. Great what the kitchen is doing. Mad respect. Please elaborate as to why there is zero reason you should be using tax money on fried chicken. Keep in mind that unhoused or underhoused people often do not have access to clean, safe cooking facilities. Give me a reason 
other than cruelty. Why people being able to buy it's fried cruelty. chicken with tax? It is just cruelty. It's objectively just cruelty. You you know what would happen if we were able to give people that like 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 lift those restrictions or even just put it on just food, food and toiletries. So when I like because that I think should be included too. Like so you can include things like deodorant, soap, diapers, things that unhoused people like homeless people struggle with doing, like struggle with getting, like. First of all, it shouldn't be tied to an address, first of all, but even so. Tax money is an actual problem. Of course people would. Why wouldn't they? What would be wrong with that? It's unhealthy. Yeah, I'm cruel also. What are you gonna do about it? Idgaf. You shouldn't be buying luxuries with government assistance. It's assistance. It's to help you get you back on your feet during a trying time. You do not to be eating fattening unhealthy food with taxpayers' money. I what what the fuck is somebody with with a hot what the fuck is somebody with a hot plate and like or, or, or what the fuck is an unhoused person or a person without like reliable access to a kitchen going to do with fucking fraud chicken? Come on, dude. See people at my grocery store filling up shopping carts with garbage and paying with EBT. I have no sympathy for them. Just taking advantage of a handout. Shut the fuck up. First of all, uh, when people like I do this, like as, as like I did this, you know. Ultimately, when you you go get your groceries once a month, you go get your groceries once a month, and that's your entire month. You were buy when you somebody buys an entire month of groceries, which by the way, with how much expensive everything is now, the amount you get, you know, from EBT is not enough for an entire month of groceries. Like I'm on EBT as we speak, you know, while I'm job hunting and and trying to get it get get work. And one of the biggest problems is, you know, you get you know, like the, a lot, like my girlfriend, like we have to share it between the two of us, uh, and, and, and for our household. And ultimately what ends up happening is, is that like, if I, uh, I, sh you know, you can't buy lots of meat and vegetables. You have to buy cheap shit. Now, you know, if you do buy a bunch of cheap shit and you do buy a bunch of like, you know, bad food, that is usually the cheaper food. And that type of food would last longer. I don't really get a fucking say over you know how the groceries are what kind of groceries are get because she'll get the cabbage and she'll get like um um uh what's it called like fruit and stuff which is all great uh and then she'll plan dinners and stuff but then like by the but then like you know we've still got a week and some change before the car gets refilled and and everybody else is out of the house but me right now other people are like in the wind and i'm eating oodles and noodles and shit so you know it, it, it's it's you know, the cheap, the, the worst food at the grocery store just so happens to be the cheapest. And, you know, that's what people are going to buy. Like, duh. Some heroes. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And... Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.